Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will test the system for linearity, time invariance, stability and causality. The system equation is given as y of n is equal to a to the power x of n. Fine. So let's check for the linearity, whether our system is linear or not. So for that, for an input x1 of n, what will be the output? y1 of n, which will be equal to what? a to the power x1 of n, right? Now for an input x2 of n, y2 of n is equal to what? a to the power x2 of n, clear? Now what you have to calculate? You have to calculate the weighted sum of outputs, fine? So the weighted sum of outputs means what? a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n. This you have to calculate. y1 of n, y2 of n we have already calculated. So this will become what? a1 into a to the power x1 of n plus a2 into a to the power x2 of n. Hope it is clear to you. Fine. Now what you have to calculate? You have to calculate the output due to weighted sum of inputs means y3 of n. So this will become what? a to the power a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n. Right? Now see whether this and this is equal. It is equal or not? Not equal, right? So y3 of n here is not equal to a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n. So if it is not equal, it means our system is what? A non-linear system. Our system is non-linear system. Clear? Fine. Now let's check for the time invariant C. So whether our system is time invariant or not. So for that we have to calculate two things, right? One is the output due to delayed input by m units. Another is the delayed output by m units. This two you have to calculate means y of n comma n and y of n minus m. These two things you have to calculate. Then based on that you can say whether the system is time invariant or not. So here it means what y of n when x of n is equal to x of n minus n, right? Means you are delaying the input by m units. So basically then it will become what a to the power x of n minus m, right? And if you calculate this y of n minus m, it means what y of n when n is equal to n minus m. So you have to replace n by n minus m. So it will become what? a to the power x of n. So you have to replace with n minus m. Now tell me, these two are same or not? These two are same. It means y of n comma m is equal to y of n minus m. So we can say our system is what? Time invariant system time invariant system. Clear? Now let's go for the next checks. Like we'll check for stability, whether the system is stable or not. Fine. So to check for stability, this is the formula for an LTI system. Before that, you don't have the impulse response, right? The equation is there in x of n and y of n form. So Basically, to get the impulse response, you have to apply the input is equal to del of n, then you will get y of n is equal to h of n, fine. You should be aware about del of n behavior, that it will give you value one only at one instance when n is equal to zero, right? For other instance, it will be zero. Clear? Make this thing clear. So from here, your equation becomes what? Your equation becomes h of n is equal to a to the power del of n, right? Because you have replaced this by this and this by this in the original equation. Original equation was what? y of n 
is equal to a to the power x of n. Now we have this equation. Now we have to evaluate this. Now as I told you that it will give value this del of n will be 1 when when n is equal to 0 right. So when you calculate h of 0 then it will become a to the power 1 which is basically what a right and for other instances and for all other instances h of n is equal to what this is going to give you 0 only right. So it means a to the power 0 it means what 1 right for all or for any other n for any other n. So hope it is clear to you. So from here what is the conclusion? So if you go for summation of absolute value of h of n over the limit n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity you will get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus and at n is equal to 0 instance you will get a then again 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus keep on going right so it will land up to what infinity so infinity now again what is this the impulse response is not absolutely summable so you can say our system is what an unstable system it is unstable system hope it is clear to you fine let's go for the next check you have to check whether causal or non-causal so tell me what is this x of n present input and what is this y of n present output so here the output output depends upon what output depends only on present input it depends only on present input if the output only depends upon the present input then the system is what it is a causal system it is what causal system hope this example is pretty much clear to you fine so that's all about linear t time invariance property stability causal t checks so this many examples are enough if you have any question you can ask in the comment section i will make a video on that question also no need to worry about that fine so thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel